हेलो स्टूडेंट्स विल डिस्कस अबाउट द टॉपिक्स अबाउट बेसिक इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग सो बेसिक इलेक्ट्रिकल एंड कंसिस्ट ऑफ डिफरेंट पार्ट्स दैट इज इट इज डिवाइडेड इनटू मेनली डिवाइसेस एंड मशीन सो डिवाइसेस आर द व्हाट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन डिवाइसेस एंड मशीन्स मशीन्स कंसिस्ट ऑफ रोटेटिंग पार्ट्स एंड डिवाइसेस व्हिच डू नॉट हैव द रोटेटिंग पार्ट्स सो again machine is divided into two parts that is ac machines and dc machines then ac machines it generates ac alternating current source of energy and dc machines are generated dc source of energy so we should aware that the energy conversion principle that is energy neither we created nor we destroyed it transforms one form of energy to another form so your generator converts your mechanical energy to your electrical energy then the motor converts your electrical energy to mechanical energy so if we will focus on our system it is categorized into two parts lump network and distributed networks so the lump network is a network the circuit components are intact with the circuit and the distributed system is called like your parameters are regularly distributed over the network like your the inductor capacitors and resistors are equally or unequally distributed in the system like your transmission system so transmission system consist of the conductors in the conductors both resistor inductor and capacitors are equally divided because conductor consists of both resistance and inductance and capacitor will acting on between the capacitor and the conductors and the ground which exist a virtual capacitor that is not original capacitor that is a virtual capacitors acting in the transmission system so a part of this transmission system we are focusing on our generating systems so generating is your two ways either ac energy or dc energy so dc if you focus on your dc energy so we will focus on our system with basic principles like your faraday's law faraday's law states that whenever a conductor or coil rotate inside a magnetic field it cuts the lines of force it produces magnet emf that is electromagnetic force so we can define that is your e is equal to minus n d phi by dt so e is equal to minus n d phi by dt so d phi indicates d phi with respect time that is rate of change of flux with respect to time n indicates number of turns in the conductor negative sign indicates the lenz law what do mean by lenz law lenz law states that it opposes the very cause produced by it so electrical energy is generated by the mechanical energy the mechanical energy is produced by your turbines either it is your hydro turbine thermal turbine wind turbine so these turbines are provide mechanical energy to the system it rotates the rotor when the rotor will rotate it it cuts the lines of force so the lines of force is the production of flux and it changes with respect to time when it changes it cuts the flux and as we know that the conduct the rotor consists of number of conductors that conductors cuts the flux and the emf is generated then 
DC energy is classified into various parts and that will provide by the different machines either it is your shunt machine separately excited machines and shunt machines and similarly for the AC electrical machines so this is all about about the introduction to machine and devices thank you